No Sanders. First one's from Nick Underhill. So we saw the little celebration. Uh, how did it feel to get that eighth catch today? Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Is that what a, a half a million dollar dance looks like? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess. It felt good. But uh, I think uh, the best part is just winning as a team, right? Uh, we were able to get the win. Um, and, you know, obviously we, wanted, we were pulling for Chicago. They didn't get it. So we got the number two seed. And, we're heading into the playoffs, um, and you know I'm looking forward to it. I know that the intensity is going to be turned up more, the speed is going to be faster, uh, and we got to be ready for it. We got to be prepared for it. But I'm looking forward to it. Next one's from Amy Just. Yeah, um, today the next man up mentality hit just about every single position group, uh, especially running backs. Uh, with uh, Ty Montgomery, uh, 100 yards for him today. How big was that? Just knowing that he's been in your room for most of the season, and then. Flipping over to receiver and having a game, or flipping over yeah, to running back yeah, I mean, and having yeah, a game like that. Yeah, if you think about it, just Ty Montgomery in general and just what he did, what he what he did for Green Bay, uh, you know, and what what he's capable of doing, he 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 was just himself today. And that's what I told him before the game. I said you don't have to be anything more than just yourself, and that's what he did. He came out, uh, he prepared all week for receiver at the F position. Then you know, obviously the COVID situation hit, and he had to play running back and. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, when I found out we had Ty Montgomery on his team, I knew it was a great pickup because he just he provides so much depth at so many different positions. And so, um, you know, I was rooting for him to get that hundred yard game in the fourth, and uh, he ended up getting it. I was I was extremely happy for him. Next one's from Luke Johnson. Emmanuel, kind of speaking on that, uh, Coach Payton kind of vaguely referenced uh, spending a little extra time in practice. Uh, getting those guys ready it was the whole offense part of that or um, how would you just describe like the kind of day leading up to this yeah I mean welcome to well I would say 2020 but we're in 21 now but welcome to COVID football right uh, you got to be prepared for anything and uh, you know our, it's crazy because you know uh, Sean Sean Payne was telling us even prior to the season he said it can hit at any moment and be prepared for anything and we we all kind of know that and so there's no really no shock with this anymore it's like all right this happened all right we got it we got it we got it next man up mentality. And I know that, you know, that's, that's what everybody says, but it's true. Um, that's, that's, that's the mindset. And, uh, you know, I was just happy for the guys who got an opportunity to showcase the talent today and they made the most of it. Next one's from Jacques Doucet. Emmanuel, can you just speak to this team's ability to win games in different ways, different quarterbacks, Alvin out, Mike Thomas out, and throughout the year, here you are, uh, you know, 12 and four going into the playoffs. Yeah, I think that's a credit to uh, Sean Payton. Um, he's one of the best coaches I've ever played for, and I've enjoyed just being around and being around his energy, bring, being around his intellect. Uh, when you go in the game and knowing he's the coach, you know he's calling the plays and he's, he's setting it up. Um, it makes you feel good as a player. It makes you feel good as a receiver. And it's just a credit to him. Uh, to me, coach of the year, obviously, it's been a lot of good coaches. But uh, just seeing the day-to-day -day grind and how he's handled this whole COVID and handled, you know, Drew being out and Alvin being out and Mike being out and, you know, really all of his all of his big-time players and have, and showcasing uh, the will and, and, and the poise to say, you know what, this is how we're going to handle this. this is how we're not going to go into panic mode. And so uh, it, it's, it's a big credit to him. Next one's from Nick Underhill. Just speaking to that, do you, do you feel like you guys have formed your identity off of that adversity? And what can that do for a team once you get into the playoffs? Uh, truthfully, I, I don't really even know our identity. I think that we just go into games and say, hey, look, uh, we're going to try this. We're going to try that. And if it works, then, then that's what we're going to go with. Uh, you know, we got Alvin Kamara. Uh, once he gets back, we got him at running back. We got we got some running backs. We got a great old line. We got a quarterback in Drew Brees, a legendary quarterback uh, in my eyes. And. Uh, I just feel like you know, we can be we can be multidimensional, um, you know. But at the same time, uh, we got to go out and execute, and we got to whatever Sean Sean calls, we got to execute at a high level in order for us to make this run. Next one's from Chris Hagen. Emmanuel, we've heard a couple guys talk about just how important it is to get some momentum with a win going into the playoffs. But for you and Drew, how important was it to? really looked like you guys were in sync and, and get back on the same page and make some big catches uh, going into, you know, even bigger games. Yeah, it felt good. It felt good. Obviously, uh, you know, it's two plays. I wish I could have back to slant and then the, the back shoulder 
uh, that he threw to me. But, uh, you know, I, I had eight catches, well, nine catches a day, and it, it felt good. Uh, it felt good to catch catch passes and, and for Drew to uh, believe in me and, 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 you know, obviously keep throw, keep feeding me, trying to, you know, give me the eight catches to get that incentive. Um, and, you know, it felt, it felt good to be out there. Last one's for Mike Triplett. Emmanuel, you um, you've been on a lot of Super Bowl teams, obviously, but is it rare that to be around this veteran Saints team that is pretty openly talked about being Super Bowl or bust all the way back to the summer and not shying away from that goal? Uh, I've been on a team like that in 15. It was Super Bowl or bust. Uh, but truthfully, we don't even pay attention to it. We just take it in one game at a time. Um, you know, obviously the end goal for everybody is to win a Super Bowl, but at the same time, we, we can't get there and just skip the whole process of it. So it's a process, and uh, it starts with Chicago next week. We're all set. Thanks, Emmanuel. All right, thank you.